and go. Happy New Year. This is uh, Mayor Jeff Schelke speaking to you after a two-week absence uh, between holidays and other things that were going on. It just didn't work out for me to do a program on the last few days, um, complete with the blizzards and everything else. Uh, we had quite a challenge here before the blizzard and on the 22nd, I guess it was, and I had a number of people contact me and want to know why they were having difficulties dialing up the weather channel, and I'm still exploring what that was all about, but there was, uh, the weather channel's there, but I guess you have to be at a certain uh, subscription height before you can automatically get it all the time, it sounds like. I don't know, I'm trying to contact the TV people, and maybe I have a report on that in the near term. I don't think anybody deliberately tried to sh shut it off, but it was a, a challenge and a lot of people really wanted to know what the weather was going to be right before Christmas because they had families coming in and things like that. Uh, what I would like to first of all start out and wish everybody a Happy New Year and uh, already it's starting to be a challenging year. There's a lot of stuff going on. I just came from this morning cutting the ribbon out at the new Chicken Salad Chick out on Randall Road at McKee Street. And so they are open as of today, and uh, it just worked out that uh, I just literally came from their ribbon cutting. Uh, we do have, uh, it looks like uh, 2023 may be the year of new businesses in Batavia. I just mentioned the chick, Chicken Salad Chick. We have several other restaurants in various uh, stages. Uh, obviously Culver's is getting ready to open, and I guess their idea at target time is March. And we have several others that are talking to us, but I guess I shouldn't talk about them because I don't know for sure either when they're going to open or if they're going to open or if they're going to build or whatever the issue may be, but we certainly have the interest. And so we will be reporting more as we more, know more about things that are happening. The one kind of downside of what I'd like to talk about in the report uh, involves the activities that the police department has found itself in in the recent and we've had a rash of, of thefts of technology used to steal people's specifically their information financially credit card numbers are a hot thing that somehow or another a lot of bad people have figured out how they can either trick you into giving them your number or they have some other means by which they do it and then almost immediately, if some of us are getting notices that large sums of money are attempting to be subtracted from our credit card accounts or whatever. And I will speak as a victim of this because uh, right before Christmas, I had my credit card number stolen. And fortunately, my bank uh, was on the lookout for it, and they f saw a bill come in into me. Sometimes they hide these in bills that sound like it's something so that nobody will question it. I believe it was from some address in California for $198, just shy of 200 So the bank called me and said, do you know about this? I said, I have no knowledge. They said, that's what we thought. So they immediately rejected it and then I had to go to the bank, but they get me, a, took my old credit card number and took the credit card and destroyed it and I had a new credit card in about uh, oh, 15 minutes once I got to the bank. So I think the banks and people involved in credit cards are figuring out that they have to be in a position where they can quickly return, put you back into business with a new card once this is stolen. So I just want to caution you all that the tech, the crime on technology is a fairly, very frequent thing in Batavia and I would encourage you to be very cautious about what you do and say and who you share your number with and be very very cautious about it because we are experiencing a lot of that going on here and specifically I think they, they some of these bad folks target towns where there's a lot of senior citizens in Batavia we have six senior living communities and some of those folks have been targeted to be uh, the thought being, well, most of these people during their lifetimes didn't touch, have much to do with technology, so they may not be able to figure it out when we're basically bamboozling them in out of their money. So anyway, uh, just be cautious. The other crime that we've suddenly had a lot of experience with is unlock, unlocked cars parked in driveways. And uh, this past week we had a rash of thefts over on the northwest side of Batavia 
and uh, the police are of the opinion that many of the cars in the area, specifically like north of Wilson Street, had that was sitting on the, in the driveway all night long. And the door was probably challenged as far as is it open, and in several instances the doors were unlocked, and they ended up uh, going in the car, and goodness knows what was taken. But there, there are people out riding around uh, trying to find. Uh, unlocked cars and driveways. And we're very susceptible to that and our police department has got that as a high priority thing to watch over because we did have a situation uh, last year where some folks found a car in the driveway that was unlocked and they got in the car and then they immediately pushed on the door opener on the garage and got the garage open. They got into the garage and they found another car sitting in the in, the, in what was a locked garage that they were able to enter into because they got into this car outside and here were the keys in the car and they got in the car and drove it away and I guess we've never seen it since. So I mean you got to be very cautious with this stuff and uh, I think that is uh, police have expressed to me many people feel that I'll say the Tri-Cities, Batavia, Geneva and St. Charles are regarded by the criminal community as communities of affluence and if you can break in or get into the car or the house or whatever have you, you're going to find stuff that you can probably take and resell or what, use yourself or whatever. So uh, you just got to be cautious that because of our nice town that we live in, we get targeted for being uh, people that are easy prey for people to break into. So uh, just be very cautious about that because uh, it is something that uh, we need to watch very carefully. Uh, I guess I'd just like to uh, kind of conclude by saying that uh, at the end of this year we had a lot of nice Christmas programs that were offered by some of the churches. I think it spoke to how good a lot of the churches in Batavia are as far as concerts and music and, and generous ideas. And uh, the other thing I guess I would like to pay tribute to is all the charitable efforts that were made during the Christmas season, specifically the Batavia Access Toy Drive under the command of the Roy Bailey family. They really continue to rise to the occasion and this year we, I believe, served over 700 Batavia kids with some type of a toy or a gift for Christmas and we had a generous support from the community. We didn't spend any tax dollars on it and uh, it was all donated and it speaks well to what Batavia's heart is all about. So with that being said, I guess I would say uh, I'll be back now in regular schedule on Friday to be, uh, so I'll be doing another one of these I guess in about three days, but I just want to let everybody know I'm back in the swing of things and Lori Botterman, who's my most able assistant, is uh, able to work with me and get this out on the street as quickly as I make it. So I want to thank Lori publicly for her good efforts because she really has made this uh, idea shine very brightly. So with that, uh, again, Happy New Year to everybody and we'll be talking to you very soon.